French monarchs have long been synonymous with opulence, with their jewellery collections serving as powerful symbols of wealth, authority and divine right. From the medieval crowns adorned with precious gems to the Bourbon dynasty's intricate designs, the jewellery of French royalty reflected the grandeur of the monarchy. So let's explore the most famous jewellery of French monarchs. Before we start, please support my channel by clicking like and subscribe buttons. And if you wish, you can support me via the super thanks button on YouTube or become my patron on Patreon. Link is in the description. The Crown of Louis XV The crown crafted for King Louis XV in 1722 was an exquisite symbol of his reign, designed specifically for his coronation. This magnificent piece, adorned with an array of diamonds from the royal collection, was the work of Laurent Ronde, the esteemed French crown jeweler. Among its original splendors were the legendary Mazarin diamonds, the de Sancy diamonds set prominently in the fleur de lis atop the arches, and the famed Regent diamond displayed at the front. The crown also boasted hundreds of other precious gems, including rubies, emeralds and sapphires. During the French Revolution in 1793, nearly all of the approximately 20 crowns of the Ancien Regime were destroyed. Remarkably, the crown of Louis XV was the sole survivor, making it one of only six French crowns that remain today, alongside those from the 19th century. In 1885, the French Third Republic opted to sell the majority of the crown jewels. However, due to its profound historical significance, the crown of Louis XV was spared. Its original precious stones were removed and replaced with coloured glass, and it now resides in the Louvre Museum in Paris. Sapphire set of Queen Marie Amélie. The suite, comprising a tiara, necklace, earrings, a grand brooch, and two smaller cluster brooches, was once part of an even more extensive parlour. Some of the sapphires in this set are rumoured to have originally belonged to Empress Josephine. In 1821, the Duke of Orleans, who would later ascend the throne as Louis Philip I, King of the French, gifted these sapphires to his wife, Marie Amélie. As Queen of the French, she wore these jewels, adding to their historical significance. The tiara is a stunning creation, featuring five distinct elements, each centered around a large sapphire encircled by diamonds. These clusters are thanked by diamond-set wings and rest atop additional sapphires framed by diamond scrolls with floral accents. The suite's necklace is equally remarkable, featuring eight substantial sapphire and diamond clusters interspersed with delicate diamond floral fringe pieces, creating a striking and elegant design. Today, this sapphire powder is displayed in the Apollo Gallery at the Louvre Museum in Paris. Empress Eugenie's diamond bow brooch. In 1855, two years after her marriage to Emperor Napoleon III, Empress Eugenie commissioned a brooch from French jeweler François Kramer. Initially, the brooch was a simple yet elegant diamond bow, designed to be worn as a decorative buckle on a diamond belt, a luxurious accessory typical of the Empress's refined taste. However, Empress Eugenie, known for her love of opulent jewellery, desired something more extravagant. She requested that Kramer transform the brooch into a grander stomacher ornament. When Napoleon III 
and Eugenie were forced into exile in 1871. The brooch, along with other treasures, was left behind. In 1887, the French government decided to auction off many of these items, including this remarkable jewel. The brooch resurfaced on the public market in April 2008, when it was offered for sale at Christie's in New York. The Friends of the Louvre, a dedicated organization committed to preserving art, acquired the brooch, ensuring its return to France. Since then, the brooch has been on display at the Louvre Museum. Napoleon Diamond Necklace Emperor Napoleon's gesture of love and celebration for the birth of his son, Napoleon II, took the form of the exquisite Napoleon Diamond Necklace. Commissioned in 1811, this stunning piece was a gift to his second wife, Marie Louise. Crafted by the skilled hands of Etienne Neto and Sons, the necklace boasts an elegant combination of silver and gold, adorned with a total of 200 and 34 diamonds. Weighing in at an estimated total of 263 carats, the necklace features a centerpiece diamond weighing 10.4 carats. As history unfolded and Napoleon faced defeat, Marie-Louise returned to her Habsburg family in Vienna, Austria, in 1814, taking with her all her treasures, including this magnificent necklace. The jewel remained in the Habsburg family until it changed hands, ultimately landing in the possession of Marjorie Merriweather Post. She generously donated the necklace to the Smithsonian Institution in 1962. Marie Antoinette Pearl. Marie Antoinette, the legendary Queen of France, was known for her extraordinary and lavish jewellery collection. During the chaos of the French Revolution, some of her jewels were recovered after her failed attempt to flee Versailles. However, a significant portion of her collection was secretly smuggled out of France, first to Belgium and later to Vienna, where it remained hidden for years. Among these treasures was a stunning natural pearl and diamond pendant, a piece that once belonged to the ill-fated queen. In November 2018, this remarkable pendant made headlines when it was offered at auction by Sotheby's. Initially estimated to sell for between $1 million and $1,900,000, the pendant's illustrious history and royal provenance captivated the world, driving bidding to extraordinary heights. The pendant ultimately shattered all previous records for natural pearls, selling for an astonishing $36 million, $500,000, making it the most expensive pearl ever sold at auction. The Diadem of the Duchess of Angoulême. Princess Marie Therese of France, the eldest daughter of King Louis XVI and Queen Marie Antoinette, was born into a world of grandeur and turmoil. In June 1799, she married Prince Louis Antoine, Duke of Angoulême. Following Napoleon's abdication and exile in 1814, Marie Therese, now the Duchess of Angoulême, and known as Madame Royale, returned to Paris and skillfully assumed the role of France's First Lady during the reign of her uncle, King Louis XVIII. In 1819, as a symbol of her status and the enduring legacy of the Bourbon dynasty, a new tiara was commissioned for the Duchess. Crafted by the jewelers of Maison Babst, the official court jeweler of the Bourbons, the tiara was fashioned from 14 emeralds taken from the French crown jewels. The stunning design featured diamond scrolls elegantly embracing the vibrant green emeralds, creating a masterpiece befitting her royal heritage. 
The Emerald Tiara is now resides the Louvre Museum. Empress Eugenie's Pearl Tiara. This tiara, like many in history, was originally given as a wedding gift. Emperor Napoleon III presented it to his bride, Eugenie, as a symbol of their union. Crafted by the jeweler Alexander Gabriel Lemonnier, the tiara was new, but the gemstones it featured carried a rich history. The jewels used in its creation had once adorned Empress Marie Louise, Napoleon Bonaparte's second wife, and the Duchess of Angoulême. The tiara sparkles with over 200 pearls and nearly 2,000 diamonds, all set in silver. Eugenie wore this magnificent tiara frequently throughout her husband's reign, making it a signature piece of her regal attire. However, like much of the French royal jewellery, the tiara was sold at auction in the late 19th century and passed into private ownership. Over a century later, the tiara was brought back to France thanks to the efforts of the Friends of the Louvre, who purchased it for over a million dollars. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to support my channel by clicking like and subscribe buttons.